President Donald Trump said Wednesday that talking is not the answer when it comes to reigning in North Korea, seeming to contradict some of his top cabinet officials who insist the U.S. will continue to seek a peaceful resolution to tensions with Pyongyang, despite its provocative missile tests. The U.S. has been talking to North Korea, and paying them extortion money, for 25 years. Talking is not the answer. Trump tweeted, just days after North Korea launched a missile that flew over northern Japan. It was not immediately clear what Trump meant by extortion money, though previous administrations have tried to defuse nuclear tensions by offering the North Korean regime food and aid packages some of it in exchange for Pyongyang's commitment to curb its nuclear programs, promises that have always been broken. Tuesday's North Korean launch was the first step of the military operation of the North Korean military, in the Pacific and a meaningful prelude to containing Guam, North Korean state media said, doubling down on Pyongyang's threats in early August to strike the U.S. territory home to a large U.S. military base. Trump's chest-thumping suggestion that some undefined action, not talk, is needed is just the latest signal sent by the president that seems to contradict the cabinet officials most involved in finding a way to defuse a nuclear showdown in a region that's home to billions, vital to the global economy, and the location of strategic U.S. military bases.